hold up your arms a second. Christian, you gotta walk me through your tattoos. They're beautiful. Yeah, so this one, I got the day before I turned 18, which I don't actually think is legal. Um, on, on holidays, and it's just a rose with um, my family's initials in the leaves. So I got my mum, my dad, and my brother. That's beautiful. And then this one just says loyalty, which I has, uh, have with my trainer from Denmark. Beautiful. He's still your trainer, I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, yes and no, because it's, it's very complicated because he still lives in Denmark. Right. But back when I raced in Europe, he traveled with me basically worldwide to wherever I was racing. Um, but that obviously changed when I moved over here because I live here full time and it would make no sense for him to fly across all the time. How often do your parents get to see you race? And your brother? So far this year, once. My dad was at two so far. But I'm, I think they're all coming to the last race of the season. Okay, so now, uh, given that you are Danish and you're here in the States, I'm gonna be playing a little game with you. And I want you to tell me which item, I'm gonna give you two things, is not Danish or which item is kind of not related to Denmark in any way, okay? All right. Okay, here we go. Salty licorice or red vines? I know that uh, licorice is, is Danish. That's correct. Are you a fan? I personally hate black licorice. You, you hate it? I like it. Ooh. Ooh. But I guess I'm Danish, so I grew up with it as well. That's right. Is that your go-to candy or what is yours? It isn't. Um, actually, ice cream is. Flavor? Either vanilla or chocolate. That's all you got? Vanilla or chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's, I mean, that's that's the go-tos. That's the simple ones. That's, okay, simple. Keep it, it simple. It, okay. It never the origin of Google Maps or MapQuest. So you see, I've never heard of MapQuest. So I would, I would, uh, I mean, I know we have Google Maps. So I would say Map MapQuest is probably something that we don't have. Google Maps was actually originated uh, in your home country. Did you know that? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Dominoes or Legos? Legos is Danish because it's founded about 35 minutes from where I grew up. Really? Yep. I've been to I've been to the original Legoland a lot of times in my childhood. Wait, let's talk about Legoland for a second. There's one here in Southern California and I actually think it's one of the best amusement parks or getaway parks. So you've been to the original, obviously. Wait, it's a half hour from your house? That's amazing. Yes. So it's your Lego perfect. collection is off the charts, right? I've, I've got some, yeah. I've got, I've got the Titanic, which is uh, which is pretty cool. It took me 46 hours to build. Is, is this still a hobby of yours or that's just a childhood thing? So uh, I've got the Titanic in America. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, the um, uh, Lego Technique cars as well. Um, and I have actually been in contact with Lego to try to to get myself as a Lego man and try to, to make an indie car, which would be cool. Uh, but that's still a uh, work in progress. <laughs> that actually would be really, really cool. Yes, because an indie car doesn't exist in, in Lego yet. So that would be cool. They have a bunch of other cars. Why hasn't that happened yet? I think this is a movement. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's also the whole point that's, that it hasn't happened and it, it hasn't happened before. And now they've got a Danish driver uh, in IndyCar and it, it makes sense. Um, it'll be a good connection for them as well. But I mean, uh, I guess we'll uh, wait and see. An IndyCar winner. Let's not Yeah, OK, that. OK. Yeah, OK. Well, <laughs> well, this is easy. Um, Copenhagen or Paris? I think Copenhagen is Danish. That's correct. So Paris is not, obviously. OK. This one's a tough one if you don't know your history. Porcelain or glass? This is a trick question, so I'm going to say glass isn't Danish. That is correct. Did you know uh, Royal Copenhagen started in 1775? Yeah, that's a few years ago. A few years ago. OK, is Denmark known for its pork or poultry? I would, I would, I would go with pork. I would go with known for pork. That's correct. It's it's the biggest uh, producer of pork. Did you know that? No, I didn't. No, that is. Is it? That's, that's what Google said. That, oh, okay. <laughs> Did you have a lot of it growing up, or tell me you guys are all vegetarians? 
No. Um, we uh, we have a, a Danish kind of bread, which is called rubro, which is what we eat. It only exists in Denmark. Say that again, the word? Rubro. R-U-G-B-R-O-D. Rubro. Rubro. I'm gonna ruin that. Rubro. 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 That's a 10 for the uh, for the efforts. Wow, okay. Wait, that there's another word and this goes off the quiz. The huga? Yeah, hu. Say it again. Huga. Huga. Yeah. See, that word is supposed to mean like zen and calm, but to get it out is like not cozy. zen or calm. Huga. Like cozy. Yeah. Oh, uh, for example, if I would uh, <laughs> sit on the couch with a couple of friends watching yeah. uh, watching a movie, having a glass of wine, eating popcorn, that would be good. Good. But even if like you go for dinner with a lot of a lot of people, like if I bring my whole crew out and we go for dinner, that would also be hygge. Cuz I mean, Huga. we're having fun. It's it's nice. Hygge. 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 That's going to be Sunday night for you after your win on your birthday. Yes. So, last one. Is Denmark not known for its having the oldest monarchy or the oldest person alive right now? As in as in right now? Yes. Cuz it would still be the oldest monarchy if Denmark had it and is the oldest think, person I, living. I don't I don't think we have the oldest person living in 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 Denmark. That is correct. She's 116 years old and lives in Spain. You have the oldest monarchy back from the 9th century. That's correct. 9th century. So that's what 12,000 years ago. Very they 7, didn't 000, have any car 7, back then. 12,000 yes. years ago. Long time ago. Uh but you are not the oldest person. You're not the oldest driver. You turned 22. Happy birthday. Uh what do you get the guy who just won a race is minus a mustache but kind of can have anything he wants what would you like for your birthday uh a fast car that can win the next two races huga <laughs> that's it's too, yeah Huga, right <laughs> yeah huga. huga it's a great word that sounds like a great birthday yeah it does actually happy birthday thank you